Let's talk about an easy way to take advantage of YouTube. You're a voice actor. You're an entrepreneur. You're a VOpreneur. Welcome to the Everyday VOpreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. Showcase your demos on your website with a player that producers and voice seekers love, that can easily integrate with your email signature, and even offers an option for analytics so you can see who's listening. The Everyday VOpreneur Summer Series is proud to offer an exclusive deal with VoiceAm. Get three months of the base player for the price of one. See complete offer details and sign up at voicezam.com slash Mark Scott. That's voicezam.com slash Mark Scott for full details and to sign up. The VOpreneur Podcast. Hey, it doesn't suck. Not as funny as Conan. Not as cute as Seth Meyers. Not as smart as Colbert. But he's one of us, and that counts for something. Here's Mark Scott, the original Everyday VOpreneur. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Everyday VOpreneur podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. I'm Mark Scott, the original Everyday VOpreneur. Looking forward to diving into another Summer Series episode with you. What is the Summer Series? These are quick hit episodes that are designed to give you one piece of actionable, practical advice that you can start implementing in your voiceover business right away. And this time around, we're going to be talking about YouTube. Now, before we dive into this week's episode, I want to remind you that the VoiceOver Marketing Playbook is coming again in September. Playbook is going to be available from September 16th through the 25th, 2020. This is my flagship marketing program. It is the one program that is going to teach you everything you need to know about how to successfully market your voiceover business. Again, VoiceOver Marketing Playbook available September 16th through the 25th, 2020. You can find more details at voiceovermarketingplaybook.com. So one of the things that often gets overlooked when it comes to YouTube is the fact that it is actually the second largest search engine on the internet. Obviously, when we think about YouTube, we think of it as a platform for sitting back and watching videos, whether that's cat videos or DIY videos or music videos. We don't always think about the fact that it is actually a giant search engine. And there are a lot of different ways that you can use YouTube for your voiceover business. But what I want to talk to you about specifically today is taking advantage of the playlist. Now, in a perfect world, every project that you ever work on, you are going to be able to get a copy of. And that client is going to allow you to take that copy and post it to your own YouTube channel. The reality is, more often than not, that's not how it's going to work because the client wants to keep the video on their YouTube channel. They want to grow their YouTube following. So what do you do in those instances? You create playlists. I would suggest that you should have a playlist created for all of the different genres of voiceover that you are involved in. So commercial, corporate, explainer, e-learning, animation, video game, meditation, whatever it is that you're working on, I think that you should have a playlist set up on your YouTube channel for each one of those genres, and then you can go around and search YouTube to find all of those videos that you've had the opportunity to be a part of, all of those projects that you've had an opportunity to voice, add them to the corresponding playlist. There are a couple of reasons why this is advantageous for you. First and foremost, it puts content onto your YouTube channel. When people are finding you on YouTube, they're now very easily and quickly able to see all of the different projects that you have participated in, and that is a good thing. Obviously, you want to grow your subscriber base on YouTube, and you are going to intermingle that with original content that you've created, videos that you actually were able to upload and post, and then the playlists of all of the other projects that you've worked on. The other nice thing about it is it gives you a curated list that you can now use as a reference. So let's say you're working with an explainer video lead and they want to see samples of your work. It's really nice to be able to just direct them to a YouTube playlist that has all of the different explainer videos that you have had the opportunity to work on. So set up your YouTube channel, set up playlists for every genre, and then just start adding all of the videos and projects that you can find to those playlists to give you some great content to be included in the second largest search engine on the internet. That's your quick tip for this week's summer series. Guys, thanks so much for listening to the Everyday Vopreneur podcast. Thank you for subscribing. You never have to miss another episode. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean. Thank you for leaving your reviews on Apple Podcasts as well. I truly do appreciate those reviews. And of course, remember, you never have to miss one of these episodes ever 
head over to the website at vopreneur.com. Thanks so much for listening. I'll catch you on the next one. The Everyday Vopreneur Podcast. Available everywhere fine podcasts are given away for free. Mostly, we think. Showcase your demos on your website with a player that producers and voice seekers love that can easily integrate with your email signature and even offers an option for analytics so you can see who's listening. The Everyday Vopreneur Summer Series is proud to offer an exclusive deal with VoiceAm. Get 3 months of the base player for the price of 1. See complete offer details and sign up at voicesam.com/markscott. That's voicesam.com/markscott for full details and to sign up. And see. And that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging in. Thanks for hanging out. Want more Vopreneur goodness? Jump online at vopreneur.com.